Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Prospects E Racing League Tier 1. Tonight we're here for round 10 at USA. Joining me tonight, as always, is Luke. So, good evening to Luke. Uh, good evening, Zephyr. Yes, I am back. Uh, fresh as flu could not keep me down forever. Uh, after my absence last week, I am back and ready to uh, ready to watch some hopefully very exciting racing. Yeah, um, last week was actually a really good race, man. Yeah, I was, I was watching it from my bed. I was yeah, like, oh, damn, this is a good race. <laughs> yeah, it was a really good race. And uh, I actually had a lot of fun doing it, to be honest. It was, um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. So what you're saying is you prefer it when I'm not here uh, yeah, and you prefer going to on cons? <laughs> is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> yes, it is, Tino. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, oh, I've just come from another stream, obviously, where I've just been like pinned to chat <laughs> and now I can't. Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, well, the swings and roundabouts for streaming. Now, I have actually, because this is the third to last round of the season, we only have uh, two more rounds after tonight, um, I have had a look at the driver standings. And if they are up to date, I'm awaiting confirmation from uh, an admin. If they are up to date, we could crown a driver's champion tonight. Ooh. That is if they're up to date. I don't know. They, I mean, they could be completely wrong. But as far as I can tell, and again, I need confirmation from an admin, so if an admin can just send send anything just to confirm this, Troy A is currently 46 points clear of a Quasar. And of course, after tonight, there's a maximum of 52 rounds, uh, 52 points on offer. Um, so by my calculations, a Quasar will need to outscore Troy A by at least six points to uh, stay in the uh, driver's, driver's hunt. So Troy A it's, could... It's actually quite crazy, isn't it? Troy A could be crowned champion tonight. If neither of them finish, then Troy A will be... No, wait. No, so, so yeah, Troy needs to outscore Quasar by six points tonight. There we go. My mathematics has worked out. Um, so basically, Troy A could win this, effectively. Again, if it's confirmed that those are up to date. If not, I could be completely wrong and this has gone on a completely wrong tangent. But <laughs> until I'm told otherwise, we could be crowning a World Drivers champion tonight. Absolutely. That's that's pretty crazy, really, to think that, you know, there's, there's three... Um... There's uh, three three races to go, and someone could already be crowned champion. Now, Farsa's retired. What happened there? I, as far as I could tell, he just retired in the pit lane because there was no... Nobody gave on track. The first person on track was um, the Ferrari of Drunk Pirate, and no one, I didn't see anyone else leave ahead of him. So yeah. um, um, uh, We have had a bit of confirmation. Um, they yeah. are up to date as far as people are, as far as people know. Okay. That's kind of reassuring, I guess. <laughs> that's kind of reassuring. Uh, I will hopefully get confirmation, but that, that's the sort of confirmation. But obviously, if any of the admins are able just to message on the dis on the uh, staff Discord, just confirm, because um, obviously I don't want to be hyping up Troy to be champion, and then them to go, oh yeah, no, he hasn't been updated. Um, so yeah, but so if, um, all Troy has to do is outscore um, the Quasar by six points. So I won't try and work out who needs to finish where for what because I'll be here all evening. But yeah, it's very exciting. Yeah, absolutely. Um, give me two. Uh... Right. So yes. Um, so I'm just just having just trying to sort something out as well very quickly. Um... That's fine. We're, we're, we're riding board with Mitri as he as he does his first flying lap around the second of the Americas. Kota, obviously, first race in 2012. Um, in fact, I remember that race. It's slightly showing my age now. I remember watching that race live. Um, but yeah, I really like this track. It's fun to drive. Um, it's a pain in the ass sometimes, but it is fun to drive. Um, I, I enjoy driving it, but I, I don't think it's a particularly unique track. I think many people agree with me. It does not have, really have much of its own character. It just feels like it's a hodgepodge of every other circuit mixed into one. It's a Frankenstein circuit, as many would, would call it, which is in some ways cool because it incorporates great bits like the Maggots and Beckets from Silverstone, the turn eight from Turkey, um, the incline into turn one like Austria, but I, I just don't feel it. It just doesn't give the track its own sort of character, its own unique characteristic. Yeah, I mean, you could that... argue that the sector one S's, um, or even sector one into sector two S's, you could argue that they are Brazil. Yeah. I mean, or even uh, the, the first part of it, the downhill part is definitely Maggots and Beckett's. I mean, the corner Mitri just went through is literally turn 10 Bahrain, uh, and this is turn 8 uh, Turkey. Um, so, I mean, 
it, it's cool that they've got a hodgepodge of especially famous corners from across the F1, you know, all the F1 tracks, but it just doesn't give the track anything unique, you know? It just doesn't give it that like other tracks. As John Clark does a 35.5, and Mitri goes across the line, 34 dead. Wow, nearly in the 33s time. already. That's a good time. Yeah, that's crazy. Already nearly into the 33s. That is insane. Who will be next across the line? I think that's oh, Bevo's pitted because he's getting validated. Um, it also, is Lima. Word from um, race control, let's say. Farsa has a quality ban. That would explain why he's just that retired straight away. Retirement, <laughs> absolutely. So, um, yeah, I mean, we with a very powerful. Well, there we go. 33.8. Um, <laughs> let's completely forget what we just said about <laughs> Mitwe. Um, so yeah, we've got Alex 33.8, first driver into the 33s. Um, Mitwe second, Lima in third place, and Drunk Pirate in fourth. Uh, King David goes into fourth, Pirate down into fifth place now. Um, King David, I watched him in, no, it was last week, I think. He turned up late in the race. Mm. Um, yes, he did. He didn't qualify. And I'll tell you what, last week, David was on something. Fire. Yeah, he was um, quite insane last week. Whatever he was on, I need. <laughs> I think I do too. Could really on that. Yeah, no, that was crazy. I, I think the, the last race last week was incredibly exciting, to be fair. Um, so, I, I, I really, I mean, if, if we could have even a, like a tenth of that excitement in this in, in this race, I would be very happy. Um, because, that, yeah, Abu Dhabi last week was crazy. Um, but, so yeah, if you haven't seen Abu Dhabi yet, people, we're going to watch like the race replay wherever you watch it because it was a hell of a week for tier one um and incredibly exciting from start to finish uh obviously with, with zippo commentating which as we found out this evening first to do by himself uh so i feel so uh, so loved and welcomed in the comms box this evening um yeah, no, absolutely i mean <laughs> i i com, solo comms is just what i do it's like my natural thing <laughs> um having co-coms don't get me wrong it's, it's great because it helps um and confirmation tier one results are up to date on the website Excellent. So we could indeed crown Troy a if he outscores the Quasar by six points. Um, That's mental. Because I believe Troy a has more wins over the season than um, the Quasar does. So even if even if it ended on fifty two points, I think he would still be uh, champion. Uh, but what we will say as we talk about the drivers constructors is very much not uh, sorted. Will not be decided tonight because Alfa Romeo and Alpine are separated by seven points uh, in first and second. Um, so. Yeah, there's a. That's the thing. We've got to the tail end of the season. That's when you've got to start thinking about all these, you know, championships and who's winning what and who could not win and whatever. But yeah, no. So it's it's a very exciting time. That, that to be fair. Um, but yeah, Troy A is still in the pits, so he feels no pressure to go out to an early banker lap. He's just happy to to sit in the uh, garage and let everyone else do their <laughs> clean up the circuit for him. And I just got a error, so I need another invite, please. Um, <laughs> Yep, I'll get you in. Um, we do love this game and its random crashes. <laughs> um, completely errored. Yep. Um, yeah, that's, that's a game crash. That's like what I had last week. Thank last you. week. Oh, no, yeah, no, in, in, a, in a league race last week. Um, as a Quasar has set the fastest lap, so he knows that the championship is on the line. He's on a 33.744, goes a tenth, just over a tenth clear of Alex. Um, so Troy eight, turning up the heat here in uh, in Austin, he said Miami. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure you guys would love to be able to see that. Um, but uh, honestly, we we I'm I'm coming back. Um, <laughs> I need to click spectate. There we go. So I've been yeah, watch <laughs> Zippo, be, Zippo be driving for Zippo would become a come the 18th driver on the on the grid tonight. Um, which I don't think you particularly enjoy, would you? I don't know. I, I Racing in tier one. Some of our rapid drivers have run for their money last on Tuesday. Uh, in, um, in Britain, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. won my first ever league race. Do, uh, dare I ask what happened <laughs> to almost win? I got penalties. Oh, unfortunately, oh, so, yeah, the penalties uh, killed me. But I was I was able to uh, keep up with the uh, really fast drivers um, within like a, a tenth, two tenths, three tenths. Um, Pretty good, actually. Yeah, I was I was on. A mission. It was my final league race, so I thought, why not? Let's just give it everything and see what I can do. But enough about me. Tintoretto comes around the final corner to set his first timed lap here in uh, America this evening, uh, and goes P9. So as you said, Equaza sets the 33.7, seven, 
Troye is still sat in the pit lane at the moment, and that was a Red Bull of Bevo? Dylan. Bev Bevo's, yes, Bevo's it, it, just gone into P6, I believe. Yeah, so it, <coughs> I keep an eye on Dylan, because Dylan had a couple of spins uh, coming around the, the turn eight. The, he's gone into the pit, yeah. yeah. He's given up on that. Troye is out on track, so uh, championship leader is on track. So yes, I think, <coughs> you've got I think on him. for the stream's purpose, we will... Um, we will definitely watch him for his lap here, I think. Absolutely. I think, you know, I, I mean, it is quite an achievement to, to win. I mean, obviously, if this was a real full length F1 season, winning in Austin wouldn't be a bad thing. But the fact that Troy could wrap this all up with still two rounds to spare, is, is, it just shows how consistent he's been, how good he's been this this season. Um, Quasar's obviously had good moments and bad moments uh he's very quick equates are he's absolutely rapid as well so we cannot fault him at all but i mean troy has just been almost indomitable across this entire uh across this entire season and I, I i would say he's been a, he will be a very deserving champion should he win it i mean it's not confirmed yet nothing's uh nothing's um no, no, nothing's quite yet uh confirmed you know he's not champion yet but uh, i think he should he win be a very worthy champion at that yeah yeah i mean he would definitely be a worthy champion um I know Troy Yeh from. He he was in my own league. Um, he he moved on because he, quite frankly, got too quick for the league. Um, he wasn't in, he wasn't enjoying it, and you know there's no there's no fun when you've got no one to race against. Okay, in here they're very evenly matched. Mitwe goes a thirty three five, so he's always got somebody to race here. In in my league, he was winning by like twenty five thirty seconds, race after race after race. Um, I know him very well. He's a, he's a really, really good driver. Um, and, yeah, it'd be, it'd be good to see him crowned as a champion, to be honest. And to do it with two races to go is, is quite special, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I raced against Troyer. He joined my league, uh, and he raced in the first race. Um, yeah, the last, uh, last weekend. And, you know, he was rapid there. <laughs> yeah, he, he like, like in your league, he was absolutely rapid there. So, um the guy is absolutely he's very quick. I know him from other leagues where he's puts up a fight against drivers that are frankly esports worthy. Um, yeah. I mean, I think so you could he, argue with a bit more practice, he could comfortably beat esports. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I know a, a, a most likely esports bound. Is that his teammate giving him a toe? That is. Is it? wow, they are really playing the team game down at Alpha Romeo. That is that's interesting. Um, obviously, actually, Mitri, for both the constructors and driver championship, obviously that is probably in in his benefit to to give Troy the tro toe down into that uh, corner. Um, and it's rewarded him with a possible purple sector too. I mean, the game rights give purple sector twos really nearly, but that's true. Then that toe may very well have helped him. Um, I, I, but I mean, I, I, I also purple sector in sector two in reverse once. That was that was interesting. Yeah, the, the the game has flaws, shall we say? Um, but I mean, the top four are all covered by three tenths of a second. Yeah, so, uh, and, and I think we're probably going to have the top five separated by <clears throat> probably five seconds. I mean, he's used all of his errors as well, so that's going to massively harm him. But it doesn't matter. Oh, oh God! Wow! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I, so much for being close. I, I I refrained myself from some um, explicit language just then, <laughs> but that is a crazy time. I, uh, I was about to comment about how the grid was all within a second. That is not going to get been. I was about to comment about how the how the grid was all within a second. You know, from Mitri down to uh, down to Tintoretto, and even almost drunk pirate. You know, it was, or you know, it was close. And then Troy has now put two seconds between him and uh, drunk pirate. So um, yeah, obviously that total helped, but that total is not going to get him seven tenths. You know, that's Terry's totally not going to be equal to seven tenths. No, um, not, not at all. Not at all. That so, is an absolute crazy, crazy pace there from Troy. And this is what we were saying a minute ago, guys. He has got some insane pace. And it's not just quality pace. If he gets himself into a rhythm during the race and he keeps himself out of trouble, this, this guy just just puts in lap after lap after lap after lap and nine times out of ten they are to perfection every lap as well i mean i don't know how you can keep that concentration like that i mean i i, I struggle tuesday night keeping that concentration but can i just say chappers p6 two tenths off of um alex and we all know how quick alex is chappers really starting to seem to be holding his own in tier one now he's a tier two yeah. driver um and he actually put his car on pole position last Tuesday. Um, yes, he did. 
<laughs> and unfortunately, was, it was a, bit I of remember a strategy that. error, I think, that cost him the, the complete race. Uh, and obviously, a late safety car completely blew his chances. But he's really showing, a, he's shown a lot of, um, he, he, he is showing a lot of consistency and a lot of improvement, Chappers. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I mean, yeah. In tier two, when I, when I first joined tier two, I was pretty much on his pace. You know, I was. I, 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 you know, he, I, I always saw Chappers as, oh god, it's Chappers. You know, it's someone, it's someone I've got to get past. Now it's, oh god, it's Chappers. I ain't getting anywhere near him. <laughs> yeah. He's definitely come on leaps and bounds. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, obviously we'll have a, a break between seasons, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if Chappers possibly goes up to tier one because I mean, he's sitting in sixth. He's if we discount uh, Troy, uh, he is half a second off the, the pole lap. Uh, Austin of um, of Mitri, if he did count Troy, because Troy is just rapid. Troy is just Troy is off in the sunset by now. Um, so yeah, I mean he, he's come on leaps and bounds this season. I think he's, as he's got comfortable with the game, his optic Optics has retired retire. in the pit lane. Oh, retired in the pit lane. Um, but yeah, Chappers has come on leaps and bounds, and even if he doesn't go up to tier one next season, uh, he will definitely, I would say, be a favourite for tier two, uh, depending on what uh, what levels of driving we have there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I to be honest with you, I don't. Um, apart from obviously, if I, if I'm streaming tier two, obviously I watch it. I'm streaming it, but yeah, I don't generally don't really have time to anymore. I mean, I've I've stopped racing on Tuesday nights now to concentrate on my own comms. Um, mm. So I've I've as I said last week was my last race as a driver, um, and I'm literally just fully taking up commentary now. Um, I've stopped stopped racing. I'm doing commentary for the F1 game, but obviously doing a lot of other stuff for other games. Um, but yeah, I mean, unless unless I'm streaming Tuesday nights, I don't tend to watch because I just don't have time to. Um, mm. And it's, it's a shame because obviously I'd like to be able to uh, keep up to date with what's going on everywhere else. Yeah, I mean, tier two every day last week was it was very exciting. It was quite an exciting race. Bevo launches himself up into fifth. Onto a 33.8, so more people enter from the 33s. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, tier two is quite an exciting league uh, or division, at least. Um, I, I obviously I certainly enjoy racing in it, uh, even though I'm nowhere near the uh, the top of that. You know, just coconuts is very much on his way to, uh, to dominating that. But yeah, yeah it's he's rapid as well, though, isn't he? He's rapid, um, but obviously, as I said, I can imagine there'll probably be some uh, some he, minor. He's actually esports though, isn't he? Isn't he in the esports team? He might very well be, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, he might be. Um, but yeah, coconuts. To be fair, coconuts again. If, if this is to be believed, coconuts sitting fifteen points clear. But, oh, was Carney's gone for a spin out of turn one? And that is Tin um, up into seventh place. So Chappers is gradually closing, uh, falling down the order. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but he's about to wind up his his lap now, and I, I'll be surprised if, I if we don't see him in the thirty threes. Yeah, I think so. I mean, considering he set that lap fairly early on, you know, the track has definitely evolved since when he set that lap. So I could see him possibly change where Quasar currently is on a 33.7, probably. You know, of course, he needs to run more data. Then, as he goes through turn one, coming up to turn two now, going through this uh, very tricky sector one, in my opinion. Um, yeah, very direction. Difficult. You have to get this absolutely spot on. And to be fair, that was incredibly tidy there from Chappers. Um, but slower than his fastest lap at the moment, so Ooh, it's very controlled, yeah, he's, he's, though, isn't it? He's very controlled, but I think the, the issue and I, I noticed this as he was going through that first sector, not quite hitting the apexes. You know, he missed it at the top, the the, 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 the left hand or at the top of the hill. Yeah, just he's, you know, he's clean, he's keeping it within track limits, but he's just he's ever so slightly missing. You know, I mean, you know, if you're half a second late putting down the throttle. It will cost you a mountain of time. In such a competitive division, you just don't have the ability to be able to really do that. Um, but we'll see what his second sector yields. Up for it, it is. Yeah. Well, he's still only down by ten. Yeah, it's been very competitive. We're very consistent, let's say. Uh, yeah, of course, Bevo as well. He's tier two driver um, in in P five at the moment. So we've seen Bevo before, though. He can he can be very consistent, rapid, and then just has that lapse in concentration and uh, into a wall he goes. Yeah, very much so. Um, that is the end of the session. The checker flag has fallen. Ooh, Chappers, Chappers. Had a huge moment there. Um, but he yeah, is coming to the improved. end of this lap. I think he's lost too much time there. Yeah, he's not. Oh, yeah. He did improve oh. though. He did improve. Thirty-eight. 33. 33. Yeah. Uh, so it was an impressive thing. He was down. <laughs> so had two and a half tenths up on his time at the moment. 
I put some into two yeah. two currently. Um, yeah, we do. Obviously, Mitri's on his lap. Um, as is Troy on another lap, but uh, Mitri's 22 seconds down on his lap, so Mitri's not going to improve on his current time. As uh, Basil goes up to fifth in the he McLaren. Moves into 12th, as uh, Sohaib's just invalidated his time. Uh, so Troy A continuing on, and they'll be right on board with Troy A. I think that's X Coop or Drunk Pirate actually take going for a little spin. Um, I'm not sure who that is. As Lima gets up to third in the McLaren, oh, wow, oh, right behind Mitri. Troy A's round. Oh, he's round. He... Uh, <laughs> Equator. What can Equator? Oh, he's invalidated. Never mind. Ah, that is not what he would have wanted in uh, in the Alpine. We've got a Ferrari of who? X Coupe. Nope. Yep. And Stays Drunk Pirate. Well, we know he's spam, so uh, he's not going to be going any quicker. Um, <gasps> no. Oh, into the wall. Okay. Um... That is a big thing you don't want to do at this track. It is very easy to just <laughs> go, oh yeah, it's a bit, and just go slamming you straight into the wall. Uh, so, thankfully, he didn't qualify, so I don't think he'd be too upset about that. But yeah, gotta be Alpine, careful, people. You are a little bit louder than me, so let's put you down a bit. Oh, wow, everyone's putting me down. <laughs> <laughs> and news just in So has just been promoted to tier two. Oh, great. <laughs> To be fair, he's on pace with um, Bevo and Chappers, to be fair, so... Yeah, so that's, exactly that's good either. news for him, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't see why it would be bad news. But possibly for me, because I don't know if I did that quick, to be fair, but... Um, um, so yeah, I so, very quickly then, Troy A on pole position with Mitwi in second place. Uh, and then we've got uh, Lima in third, Soho fourth, Equaza fifth, Basil sixth, Bevo seventh, Alex eighth. Chappers 9th from King David there in 10th place. And we'll run through the second half of the grid on the grid. Yep. Uh, and uh, whilst we do that, I will be two seconds. I'll be back. Yep, we've confirmed a Troy now. Only needs five points uh, because he got a point for pole position. He got it on pole, so he only now needs five points. Um, hashtag Bevo to stop spinning. Um, yeah, five points <coughs> because he got pole position. So... Really, Quasar needs to fit, hope that Troy retires and he has a good uh, start. Well, not a good start, but you know, a good end to the race. Um, obviously, if um, if both retire, then it will still go down to the next race because he is he would only be forty seven points clear with a maximum of fifty four on offer. Quite my mass is not good. Um, so. Yep, yeah, we're waiting. It's quite cloudy, so whether or not there's rain on the way, I am unsure. We did not have a weather forecast, uh, which they should really include on, on the spectator side. Um, but yeah, it's probably a one-stop, pretty medium, hard, hard, medium, possibly hard, soft if you're vegan on tyre wear, but that is not uh, guaranteed. Good chance for a safe car around here, so that may influence some of the driver's decision on which compound they start on. Um, but yeah, it is cloudy. Uh, I await Zippo's return. Uh, no, I've just said that he'll probably appear. Okay, so there we go. So the formation lap coming up now, guys. Yep. Uh, oh, let's get the tyres up. See. There we go. Oh, interesting. So King David Softs, uh, Tintoretto, Carney, and Pirate all on the hard tyres. Everybody else choosing for those medium tyres. Very, very interesting um, indeed. Yeah, I... It's very cloudy, so I mean, there's a chance it could rain. I think if it was going to rain, we'd see a bit more, well, I'd say a bit more unity. 90% of the drivers are starting on the medium tyres. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, it is now five points to where he needs to outscore a Quasar by to be champion. Um, so, obviously, you get the uh, pole position uh, fast, uh, point for pole position in this division and a point for fast slap. So, uh, 54 points on total. Um, and he is now. My mass. Oh, need to get onto the right tier. That'd be useful, wouldn't it? Um, uh, yeah, that would be really helpful. You're, you're, yeah, you're, 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 it's 46 points, and he needed to outscore him by six to, to win. But now he's got so sure it's five. Yeah, it should be five because he's just got the pole position as well, hasn't he? Yeah, so that's that. So it's maximum 54 points afterwards. 
Oh yeah, because you obviously get your two, two extra points for the um, for the pole position. I didn't in fact that in earlier because I, I forgot we get points for pole. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, it's seven points because because of the um, right. So yeah. There's eighty points available from this moment on. What? Eight points available. Eight eighty points available from yes, this moment. Yes, points available. On. Yeah. Yes, eighty points are available, <laughs> and then after tonight it'll be fifty-four. Yeah, three wins, two poles, and yeah. three fastest laps. Yes, yeah. twenty-five to seventy-five. Yeah, that does make sense. Either way, Trey has a good chance of pole, uh, a good chance of winning, and I'm sure that unless something higgledy piggledy comes up and he like comes third and the Quasar comes sixth or something, we should be able to work and tell you out tonight if he's our champion. Uh, of course, pending any penalties or appeals. So, um, yeah, so the chances yeah. are it'll be a crown champion tomorrow, maybe Probably, Wednesday yeah. latest. Yes, depending on, of course, if, if there are any appeals against Troy. So, all Troy needs to do is get away and go fast. Yes, get uh, away, fast have a clean from. race, and um, have fun, basically, guys. Yep, as the last drivers line up on the grid, uh, yep, Troy is at a very steep angle. Yes. Oh, yes. Right, so here we go then, guys. We have got five red lights on the grid, and we've got a terrible angle. But there we go. We've got lights out. We're racing here in Tier 1 Prospects, round number 10. Yeah, round number 10 in yes. America. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, Sohope's almost sent it down the inside there on um, Mitwee. And Sohope actually up into second place from from Mitwee. And Troye, well, troye has got an impeccable start, and that is Sohope into second. Did Mitwee just hanging on there looking to go down the inside of him through turn four and five and uh, yeah it didn't it didn't happen so Soho jumps Mitwee into second place and um, Troye needs a win and Equaza to be second without fastest lap and Troye becomes your champion yeah uh, sorry to start from Troye there as you said got away cleanly uh, as uh, Soho uh, no, 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 and Mitwee uh, got caught up fighting with each other in sector one. They all got through turn one cleanly. No uh, damage as far as I can tell. No spins. Although I want to point out Chappers. Yeah, Chappers has lost a lot of places. Yeah, he's down five places. He's had a bad. I mean, he's not on hard tires. <gasps> so granted, oh, it will be Bevo has just driven into the back of Basil, and there goes his front wing. And I tell you what, if you if you're watching the stream back, you will see that. And that was just a case of that everything just stopped in front of him and he just didn't hit the brakes quick enough. Um, however, if Troye wins and Equaza gets the fastest lap, then it goes on to next week. And then that is uh, race on and game on. And both Ferraris having moments there in 16th and 17th place. Bevo bleeding positions now with that no front wing. He has literally no left-hand side end plate. And uh, into the pits goes Bevo after a very, very solid start. Yep, Trey now continuing to extend his lead. Mitri, I don't know if his tyres aren't up to temperature or I don't know what's happened. Yeah, he's, he's lost a lot the... of pace, hasn't he, to um, to Sohave. And Lima, Lima is coming back at these guys and Quasar in fifth place at the moment knows that he has to get these moves made. He knows he has to get himself up into P2 and challenging Troy a for the victory. Otherwise, his championship fight is over. Yeah, the championship fight is done and dusted. But of course... On top of that, you need to also really think about the the Constructor Championship because Carney is down in 12th. There's seven points at the moment between Alfa Romeo and Alpine and the Constructors. As things stand, uh, Alfa Romeo will take a commanding lead heading into the next race. So really, the crazy like, needs to not only think of his championship but the Constructors because that is a far closer fight than the drivers is. Uh, as Optic having a look at Tintoretto. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he was all over the back of Tintoretto just then. And... Um... Almost pushing Tintoretto along. King David on those soft tyres, having a pretty decent start as he's going for a move actually on a quasar, down the inside on a quasar. There's a little bit of contact actually, and yeah, that was a there was quite a lot of contact in the end actually. And uh, a quasar down into sixth place now, but he knows that David isn't his fight. David's on yeah. those soft tyres, and he knows he's going to have to box very soon, so he's not got to worry about this. He doesn't have to waste too much time and tyres and energy getting this move back because. Um, David's a quick, effectively on the two-stop strategy. Um, so, yeah, let's see how we get on. As Optic still behind Tintoretto here, and uh, Tintoretto becoming a bit of a roadblock towards uh, for Optic, because he's going to go for a lunge down the inside. Oh, I thought he was going for it then. Troy, a fastest lap again, a 37-2, and that is a spinner of... Dylan. Uh, no. Alex. Alex. Alex is gone. Alanix? Who's what? Alanix? Alanix, the new driver. Um... <laughs> Oh, contact. Oh, contact. He's yeah. round. He's round. He's that's. He's uh, got to give oh. that position back, surely. 
I mean, it's, it would be the chivalrous thing to do, yes, um, because he did push him basically, well, pushed him around. Uh, obviously, he only lost one position, but Dylan is now right on his back, uh, although he's taking some interesting lines to the S section, I can't lie. Um, yeah, sure, but yeah surely, hard times. Surely Optic has to, has to yield that and give that back. In a right and just world, yes. That would be seen as give the position back, you basically spy the other driver, and that was the way you passed him. Uh, I don't think anyone's told Optic that because he's two and a half seconds clear uh, of Tim Toretto. And the issue now is that Dylan uh, and Total Carney, well, basically, there's a massive queue still behind Tim Toretto. Yeah. So if, if, if Optic backs off now, he risks losing positions. Well, yeah, but he's he's put he's put up, uh, Tim Toretto in this position as well. So, you know, it's that's kind of the, the price you pay, isn't it, for, for you know, spinning someone and, and not waiting. Yeah, um, obviously I can imagine stewards will probably look into that and I can, I can imagine Tim Toretto might uh, have a, an appeal or two lodged against the uh, Aston Martin driver. Absolutely. Um, but, yeah. Um, 2.2 now, down. Troy A. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he's, he's just gone. You know what, guys? You, you guys have your wrangling battles. I am... Um, I'm out of here and I am not getting myself mixed up with any of this. But Chappers yeah. had a terrible first lap, didn't he? He did. He and I incorrectly said earlier he's on the hearts. He's not. He's on the mediums. So I don't know if he got blocked by someone. That he doesn't have damage, as far as the eye can see. Uh, everyone made it through turn one without spinning. Ooh, we got a flag. We have and that is for X Coop. Coop. Yeah, at the last corner. Tires obviously getting probably quite warm at this point. Um, I'm just interested to see what King David does really, because obviously on those soft tires, he is very much an outlier. Apart from obviously Bevo, but we know Bevo had to pit to replace his uh, damaged front wing. So I'm interested to see what King David does. I can imagine it be soft, medium, hard, or soft, hard, medium, as Bevo sets fast as lap. Obviously, soft tyres will do that for, for you. Um, yeah, but so, yeah. So the thing is with David as well, is he's not making the progress I thought he was he would make on those soft tyres. And I tell you what, Dylan has just had the scrappiest couple of corners, and it's just cost him two places to uh, Chappers and Alex. Yeah, so Chappers starting to climb his way back up the field after, obviously, as we mentioned, that horrific start for the uh, the hash driver. Basil um, getting the move made on Equaza. Yeah, Equaza now going down rather than up. I don't know what's going on with the uh, yeah, Alpine but, driver there. But I tell you what, Equaza, he's just, he just kind of moved out of the way for Basil and allowed Basil through there. He just didn't really fight it. Does, I mean, he, does he know his championship fight's over? Possibly, or maybe he's banking on perhaps Troy. We know Troy does make the odd mistake. He's rapid, but he, he can be a bit of a glass cannon at times. Perhaps he's you know, banking on the uh, Alpha Male driver making such a mistake. And then obviously, it doesn't matter where he finishes the championship fight, will go to next weekend uh, or next week. But obviously, you want to be high up the grid because if, if Troy was to make such a mistake, then you'd really want to be capitalizing and get, gaining as much points back on him as you can. But um, Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we do. We do have a bit of a, almost a DRS train for, forming behind uh, Soa. So high, so high. Uh, with obviously Mitri, L Lima, uh, King David all within DRS of each other. So we have a DRS train forming behind uh, So High. Um, I think Mitri will probably want to get past So High. He can then be the rear gunner for Troy A. We already seen Mitri uh, helping Troy A in qualifying with that toe down the back straight. Absolutely, yeah, he so did, yeah. I can imagine he'll uh, he'll be trying to be the rear gunner for his uh, for his teammate. But to be fair, Troy A probably doesn't need it. Uh, I mean, talk, talking <laughs> of um, <clears throat> DRS trains, uh, Basil's just joined in with this as well now. We've actually got a battle from second all the way down to eighth in a DRS train now. And then we've got ninth all the way down to 12th, 12th. as well. So we've got ourselves two little DRS trains forming here. And um, you can't help but think Sohave is going to be a sitting duck uh, Possibly, well, obviously not on this lap. Um, no. but on the next lap into turn one, we could see Mitwe up into second place once again. Sohape had an incredible start, though. He did. He he absolutely sent it into turn one. Um, he yeah, he absolutely sent it. He wasn't like aggressive or particularly bad with his move. Um, but yeah, no, he was he was a solid uh, solid start for him. But he's now proving to be a little bit of a cork in the bottle because uh, Mitwe's right behind him. Lima's not behind him. David, to be fair, those soft tyres probably obviously aren't feeling too good, but he hasn't fallen off the back of them. He surely hasn't made the positions he probably would have wanted to do by gambling on such a, a strategy, but he hasn't fallen off the back of, of, of this train. So, yeah, definitely a lot to look out for in these, uh, these early stages. Yeah, I mean... I don't know, I kind of feel like it's uh, race done and dusted, don't you? 
already? I, I think for the lead, yes. I think I think I think is for, for, for the race win, looking likely to be a, a, a done done story. Uh, but I think we still have a race by special on for the podium positions oh, and even the points. Even the points, you know, we've got that train yeah, from I mean, Tintretto to Chappers. Yeah, I mean Chappers. I mean, how, how does it work here? The reserve drivers, do they drop out of the points completely? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I might have to be corrected on this, but I think obviously they don't score any personal points for the drivers, but they, the points they gather do go to the constructors, I want okay. to say. So do they stay in the standings or do they drop out of the standings? Uh, so, for example, um, full-time reserve drivers score no points right okay thank you um so hey will drop out for example okay there we go so uh, yeah okay so if if they're a full-time driver in another tier they don't score points but if they're a reserve solely for that tier then they score the points i guess so yes yeah, so hey will drop out because he's not a tier one driver or a tier one reserve yeah. so potentially that then promotes everybody up a place chappers um as well um, and then the reserves that haven't got a seat in any of the tiers do score the points. Um, okay, yeah, that's 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 how we that's how I do it in my league as well. So yeah, it's quite. So they don't score any constructors' points then. So Sohei won't score points at all. So yeah, so Alfatari won't gain eighteen points for no. for his segment. Okay, cool, got it, got it, cool. Um, and Chappers, yeah. if he gets in the points, Hass wouldn't score points, and nor would he. But someone right. like I don't know who else, and I guess Bevo as well, because he's a tier two uh, tier two driver as well. Um, but I'm not sure who is a reserve and isn't. I don't know if King David actually has a seat or not. Um, Vaguely worth to find out. Is he in the uh, driver? King David is. Yeah, King David does have a full time seat. He's a full timer. Um, Dylan and X Coop. Okay, so Dylan, Dylan and X Coop um, are two reserves for this league. So if they were to score points for whatever reason, they would keep those points. Right. Okay. I th I'm following just about. Yes. Okay. Um, so here Basil comes Basil. Like... Actually. Oh no. Hang on. Yeah. I'm co I'm incorrect. Hang on. Oh dear. <laughs> Zippo, Zippo incorrect. Oh, oh, Mark, okay. Dylan and X Cooper tier two drivers as well. So they wouldn't. Right. Okay. Okay. So we've got Sohabe, Chappers, Bevo, X Coop, and Dylan. They yeah. are all tier two drivers, so would not score points. They would drop no. out completely. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. As Mitri's gone, Mitri has gone. He has massively Mitri gone. gone. Does he have a front wing? He does. Thank <laughs> so you, he's, he's, His front wing is still there, but I mean, he's, he could get passed by Tim Toretto here as, as King David, David calls his time. Yeah, not surprised. He, he'd fallen right off the back of the DRS train, and his tyres look terrific if you look at the rings of it. But unfortunately, they're for the uh, Alpha Mare driver, and his tyres are probably going to be about 4,000 degrees centigrade. So he's not going to only grip uh, for the foreseeable future. King David onto the hard tyres. Now, they won't go to the end of the race. There's still 20 laps to go. So <clears throat> you could imagine that in, say, 15 laps' time, 12, 12 to 15 laps' time, we get a safety car. King David's stint has just come back alive, hasn't it? Because that's a free box. Absolutely. And that is, the, that is his two-stop complete onto the soft tyres again. And, um, yeah, I mean, to be fair, I'm actually a little bit disappointed in King David tonight. Um, on those soft tyres, after what we saw last week, going from last up into second place in in yeah. a very, very quick quick um, time frame, this evening it seemed to have been a lot harder for him. Yeah, that could be just be down to, obviously, some drivers have tracks that they excel at. Uh, some drivers have... Total Carney with absolute rocketing pace there on Tintoretto. Down the inside, yep. and that is very much move made. Not done and dusted though, it? because here comes Tintoretto back around the outside, and yeah. Ooh. I tell you what, wow. that, that was brilliant. For, I like that. That was great racing. That was clean. That was clean. That's, that's, what, that, that's, what, we, racing. that's what we need. Uh, this, is, this is what he can do. Uh, yep. <laughs> Oh, Carney's trying to think about it, but yeah, I would not recommend a move <laughs> a turn eight because it is going to be painful. Um, but yeah, according to my uh, data, uh, Hard can do 21 laps. So if they make it to the end, they will be about as uh, about as fun to drive on as ice. Um, so yeah, it's possible. As a chocolate fire guard. Yeah, 
So I'm imagining that if there is a safety car in the next sort of five or six laps, he'll probably just go back onto a set of mediums and then bank on everyone else being on the hard tires and try yeah, to see the tire so He's got that set of mediums available to him, hasn't he? He does. And as there's we... a yellow flag, and that is Bevo. It's Dylan. Dylan, sorry. <laughs> if I say, don't think we've got another timing glitch where I'm seeing people that aren't in yellow flags. <laughs> I've had enough of that. Um, but I think we're seeing the tire wear sort of come into play here because. That, that DMS train that was from second all the way yeah, down it's to... it's completely gone, hasn't it? It's all collapsed. Uh, Lima's on, obviously, Lima was behind Mitri, so obviously there would be a bigger gap between... Yellow Sohei flags. And that is... That's uh, Farsa. No? Yeah, it's Farsa. Uh, unfortunately, I've time around. Well, he's timed up to perfection, because he will not get to arrest on King David down the back straight. So he has sort of timed that kind of well. Yeah, but he has. Chappers... Chappers sitting comfortably in P11 at the moment. I mean... He's not complaining. He wouldn't be complaining. <laughs> no, I mean, um, he's, he's, he's in touching distance of these guys ahead of him. Obviously, he's got the DRS, and it's just one big DRS train again from P8 down to P11. So, as uh, yeah. Lima... Oh, Basil's round. Oh, Basil's, Basil's had a moment, yeah. Now, are we starting to see these medium tyres dipping? It's entirely possible. That the big killer of this circuit is turn eight um, because it's such a long right hand sort of such a long corner that uh, effectively you know your tires are heating up heating up heating up and they're not going to have time to cool, they don't have time to cool down so once the rears once you have that snap once your you know once the, the rears overheat the shack is so sort of tire uh, so powerful the tires you just you're not going to have any grip um and you're, oh as fast as piston quitted <laughs> yeah we well, had um, that quality ban as well didn't he he just didn't seem to have um much pace that, after that sp <laughs> after that spin on this on the last lap as well. I think he's just said, you know what? Yeah, it's just not worth it. He's left the session and he's had enough. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Um, Total Carney though, all over the back of Tintoretto once again. And then we've got Alex just in the distance behind, and then we've got Chappers. This is that fight for P8 at the moment. That DRS train that we are performing. Um, those yellow flags in sector one was for Farsa's uh, retired car in the pits. Yep. No one else was in the, the, the area. Um, yeah, we do have that DRS train trying to reform behind as Kyle looks like he's going to go for it. Uh, Tim, good defends the inside. No, he doesn't. He flicks back. Can kind of get the move done this inside. time. Inside. Ooh. Tim's holding Tim's the inside line. Outside. Ooh, we're trying to do what Tim did to him previous couple of laps ago. They're still side by side. I think Connie will get it. Yeah, I think Tinter basically bailed out of that one, didn't he? He was just like, Do you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have this. No, in fact, he's gone slightly wide as so high is in the pits. He's given up on those medium tyres. Bit earlier than I thought you would have put. You wanted to aim for lap thirteen, I'd probably say, but he's he's called time on them. Um, I mean, he could so go for the undercut as well, couldn't he? I mean, he could be, but I mean, he'd need to sorry, out. Sorry, sorry, the one. overcut on Lima. Sorry. Yes, yeah, that, probably that's pretty more realistic. So I think he'd have to hope that Troy does about 16 more laps on those medium tyres uh, to even think about doing an undercut on, on, on him because he's just bumping out in first place. Um, but yeah, so that yeah, is I mean, probably he's, good. He's just disappeared. He was like four seconds, I think he was clear. As uh, I tell you what, Tintoretto having some weird lines through, the set, through those S's and again just there. I mean, he, I think he's starting to. Um, Push, oh, push track limits, and push those tyres yeah. maybe. Quite possibly, um, as I said, once these tyres overheat, you find it very hard to get them to cool down again. Because yeah, and he's on the hard, yeah. so it's interesting to see a hard set of tyres starting to uh, struggle this early. Let's say. Yeah, absolutely. Optical um, equation now, though. Yeah, oh, optical on the back. Of it. It, it could be just down to tyre pressures. If you're running tyre pressures just a little bit too high. Once those tyres start overheating, you will have no grip, and once you have no grip, you have tyre wear that's insane. So that's possibly explained why Tim Toretto is having such weird lines through the S section, because simply put, his front tyres are overheating, and he basically now has no way to, to turn the car. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, yeah, as you said, with, with the tyre pressures, it's uh, they're a funny old thing, the tyre pressures. Um, yeah. They can make or break a setup, and make or break someone's race, as Equator has boxed as well, so... So hey, boxing's kind of um, <clears throat> set the trigger, set off the trigger now, isn't it? Like like it does in F one in real life. Yeah, um, the snowball. One, one team starts to drop. Oh, I tell you what, optic does not look comfortable. I think the mediums are going. 
off to. Yeah, I think most people be are. Um, and as I said, you know, I'm sure that some of the drivers may have done me on practice or we already raced here in, in another league, but if you go in here, if you go into this race going blind in terms of tyre pressures and, and, and how to run the car in terms of tyres, you will find that the track will not forgive you. There is not enough. You, you'd think the back straight would be enough to cool them down. It is not. Um, so, yeah, I think that is really what we're seeing here. We're seeing a lot of drivers possibly running there that try to get the extra grip, the extra speed, because the higher tyre pressures mean you can go at corners a lot quicker. Um, but possibly drivers now starting to, to pay the price for, for trying such a strategy. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember racing here and um, getting my setup completely wrong. Literally, not not on this game, but on the previous game. I got it completely wrong. Aye. But here comes Tintoretto down the inside on Chappers, DRS assistance, and that is Tintoretto back into eighth place. Yep, they sort of move from him. Um, of course, by this point, even if Tin is starting to struggle on those hard tyres, he's probably loving. He's probably enjoying them a little more than uh, Chappers is on his mediums. You see the yeah, wings. It... Even though these hards are, as you've just said, struggling, they're going to be in a much better state than any of these medium tyres are going to be. Yeah, as Basil, ooh, Basil he puts it in the wall going for the pit lane. It's um, one of those pit lanes, isn't it? It's an awful pit lane. It is. As, um, in goes Mitwe. As does Alex. Alex. And Chappers. And Chappers. Yeah, yeah. yeah the so the medium tyres. guys. There we go. Yep, yeah, the medium runners gone, you know what, we've had enough. Um, one thing about this pit lane, obviously, pit lane assist is disabled for this league, but pit lane assist has been known in the past to, uh, if you're coming in the pit lane too far to the left, it will swing you right and you'll go straight into the wall and you will lose your front wing. Um, so it is a really difficult pit lane for, for everyone to, to try and master. Um, but everyone's clean so far, uh, and we've really had we haven't even had a safety car yet, which I think is also quite a feature. It's really halfway. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're halfway through when everyone's still uh, still loving uh, loving life. Um, although I can tell some two people that probably aren't loving life are Lima and King David because they have the red light uh, on their fuel gauge, which means they are under fueled. Uh, which, so they, I mean, they're banking on that safety car, aren't they? They are, um, and as I learned to Miami a few weeks ago, underfilling your car, hoping for a safety car, and the safety car doesn't appear, um, yeah, it's not great uh, to be underfilled, to say the least. Um, but yeah, obviously a long way to go, so still a chance for a safety car, as Dylan picks up three seconds, he's already got, well, he's around six seconds uh, for track limits, the only driver to have any sort of yeah. penalty this place. It's unfortunate for Dylan as well, isn't it? I mean, as uh, your, your race leader Troy does box um, six and a half seconds clear of Lima, who boxes as well. So that's the optic. Yeah, so that's that's, that's, it, yeah, that's everybody now. So then we're going to see the likes of Carney, Tintoretto, and Drunk Pirate um, at a later date starting to throw themselves into the pits, and maybe depending on what, how well these hards actually go, twenty-one laps, you think. That is what the what my track database says. Twenty one laps is the lifespan. Now I don't know if that's twenty one laps before they puncture or twenty one laps is in they will do twenty one laps if you do twenty two laps are dead. Um So I mean, yeah, I mean the, the hard runners could be going to a a soft strategy then, right? They could be. Uh, the softs are pegged to last nine laps and I think I'll double check. How long did David last on his? I'll check them. As he picks up a three second, unfortunate for the Mercedes driver. That's uh, the game. There we go. So King David obviously started on the med uh, on the softs. He did seven laps. Um, so yeah, it's pos it's possible they could go long, um, but we will have to wait and see as King David passes Lima. Yes, he does. Yeah. So that is David back up into the top five where he was before his pit stop. So the hard seem to be running much better for him than the softs did. Yeah. Um, um, I think we're actually starting see to see King to David's end. true pace now on these hards. Yeah, they're six laps in, so they'll be all warmed up. They'll be in the right temperature. He'll be used to, to how the car feels beneath him, you know, in terms of how much understeer steer give him. Ooh, yeah, these, these, these two are close. Um, so, I'm trying to... Ooh, there they are. There's Optic. Yeah, so these are those two gentlemen on, on track right now. Uh, there's no one closer apart from Lima and King David. There's, ooh, Optic had a bit of a squirm. Yeah, that was Coming a huge out, uh, squirm, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, so Optic still on... Uh, he's just pitted, so it's entirely possible his hards aren't quite in the operating range. He'll be getting there, but perhaps not quite where he'd want them to be yet. But he's, he's on the back of Basil, who's 
me and Hazard will be probably in a much better working range, so definitely one to watch. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we was just saying about David having um, having a, a pace advantage now. That's kind of just balanced itself back out again. It's very um, stable at 1.4, 1.5 now. Yeah, um, which is pretty decent. Um, and in fact, Lima is actually closing the gap up to him very, very quickly. Yellow oh, flags. Oh, yellow flag. Shrunk. Uh, no, drop wait. No? No, optic, optic. Optic spun into the barrier. Oh, optic. Any damage? No. N nothing that I can see visually, of course. He might, he might have some slight like a lime uh, coloured uh, front wing, um, but that is unfortunate. It's just commentator's this curse again, isn't it? Like, oh yeah, no, yeah, no, these guys are going to close on track and... And yeah, here comes Lima. This is what I said, look. David's tyres, they may be seven laps old and up to temperature, but Lima, on one lap old hards, has, has done nothing but close the gap to David. Now, David actually was losing time to Soho. Yeah. So obviously that tyre delta not in his favour. Um, he's probably also trying to think about trying to conserve fuel because we're over half distance, close to the end of the race than we are to the beginning of it, and he's still under fuel. Uh, of course, he may, may only just under fuel his car, so it may not be a major issue. He's trade as a 35 mine. And just goes, you know what, guys, I am still in this race. I may be leading by a comfortable margin, quite literally, you are nearly eight seconds clear of the next person that's pitted. Um, oh. But I'm still here, <laughs> you know. He's still, he's still here. Can't forget about Troy, can we? Let, let's be honest. Um, Troy currently has a 9.3 second gap to the, the next driver to him. That's, that's on the one yep. that's stopped already, uh, and that's just that's just crazy. As Optic has had a second spin into the pits, goes Optic, and that could be a pit and quit for Optic. I can't see what others. Yep. <laughs> As if I say, I can't see there other being another viable strategy for him because. Yeah, the, he's only used mediums. So, yeah, pit and quit. So, we are down to 15 runners. But no one's crashed out yet, uh, I say, with bated breath, waiting for another yellow flag to appear. And to say, someone has retired. Um, but, yeah, it's been, I mean, to be fair, it's tier one. They are the top top dogs. They are, they are the, the fastest people. But two people have penalties. That's it. We've had no safety car, no virtual safety car, no crashes, uh, apart from Bevo rear ending uh, someone on lap one. It's been really clean for these guys. So, yeah, and I think made a shout out to Tier 1. Th this is what I like about the, the, the Tier 1 here. Um, and this this isn't offending... It's not aimed to offend people, but... No. As the Quasar's had a moment. It's, Ooh, still... it's not often that you see fast drivers... Yep. ...that can... Um, race. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I do. Yes. So there's, a, there's plenty of fast drivers out there that are incredibly rapid over one lap pace but they cannot race. Yeah. All they know is one lap pace. You put them next to another car and they they, they freak. They, they look at it and say, what is this next to me? I don't I don't race other people. What is this? But here it's, it's you, well, it's proven tonight. Uh, I think it was Tintoretto and... I want to say a quasar. I don't think it was. Total Carney? Total Carney. Um, yeah. Going wheel to wheel like they did earlier on. Absolutely incredible. And as I said, absolutely. you just don't get to see that often when it comes to fast drivers. No. I, I always say that you're either fast and don't know how to race, or you're slow and you're, you know, you, you give people space. Um, Quite often, for the most effort, most drivers on this game, you, you don't, you, you're either, you don't, you're sort of stuck in the middle. Of drivers that are pretty decent, but have a good chance of probably smashing into you, you know. Yeah. Um, but here, you know, yes, you will have accidents. That is, you're always going to have a. There's always a good chance for a crash uh, at some point, whether that be someone. I was Tim Tresso picks up three seconds. Um, whether that be, you know, accidentally nudging someone or accidentally pushing someone or just, you know, yeah. misjudging something. You're always going to have a crash. But the fact that we haven't had crash after crash after crash after crash or Every time we're seeing someone go side by side, thinking, "Oh my God, this is going to end in tears for someone." The fact that we can, we have that almost that like, trust in the drivers, I think, really says a lot about this division. Yeah, yeah it does absolutely. And that, that oh, in goes the two hard runners of Carney and Tintoretto. So Hope now retakes P two. Um, now he is twelve seconds, seconds behind. Yeah. Um, 
Troy could spin at this point and still come out and still probably enjoy the track well clear of Sonic. And he's and he's in sector two already. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's finished the S section by the time Soye has entered it. Yeah, um, and oh, Soho gets that all wrong. All wrong. Yeah, <laughs> he's got Lima right behind him on slightly fresher hard tyres, so uh, he has now. P2 yeah. not, I mean, King David's sort of floating in the background, but we know he has is it steel stick, three seconds of penalties. Um, so, one people to look out for: Carney and Tim Toretto. Uh, obviously, medium tyres they're quicker naturally than the hards they will easily make the end they could probably push every lap and still make the tyres last to the end because only 10 laps um, so there'll be definitely two to watch out once their tyres warm up you know they're three yeah, seconds behind a safety Alex. car now would be would be criminal for those two I think it would be it would be it'd, so, it'd be but, so hard but really the only person that can really benefit from that would be um, King David because he's the only one that has fresh mediums left I doubt people are going to try and make softs last <laughs> But this track, you know, David made them last seven laps. Maybe he can make them last eight now with less fuel in the car. But yeah, yeah you're not. But you get you're not going to make the safety car, don't forget, minimum. True, true. So uh, that, that your, then gives you the eight laps, doesn't it? It does. So I think it'd be driver preference. You know, if the driver knows that they've got a good tyre, look, look after their tyres, they will pitch. But yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I Lima, mean, Lima closing in on the Soho is the closest fight at the moment. Yeah, very much so. Um, not obviously a major tie difference, three laps between them, so uh, yeah, I mean, even King David's still sitting in DRS range and he's on tyres that are double the age of Lima's. Um, so, you know, David, f f he may not have the pace he had at Abu Dhabi last week, uh, he definitely is not slouching, um, but yeah, definitely, I mean, Carly and Alec, Carly just, Carly was 2.9 seconds at the end of sector one of his outlap, he's now one and a half seconds after one lap as King David picks up another three seconds, just for, uh, just, just for good measure, you know? Uh, but yeah, Carney's already like halved the gap to Alex in a lap, so this is going to be quite exciting to watch uh, these two carve their way up the field, which I mean, yeah. they will need. Uh, Alpine Dylan has flags. Dylan. Dylan, and he still has a full front wing, so as long as he gets going again fairly soon, it shouldn't be an issue, but he risks now getting lapped by Troy, eh? um, which is not something you see every day. Um, so, oh, no. yeah. And it, I mean, even, it's just, it's just again, there's still no virtual, and it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, and I think people that have underfilled their car slightly, uh, which I think now is just King David. No, no it's no, Quasar and Lima. King David. Lima. And Lima. So people are now running out of fuel, uh, which is probably not what they would have wanted. Um, but yeah, so this is this is going to be quite exciting. Uh, and as I was going to say, Carney needs to move up positions here, because the Quasar, yes, currently sixth. Um, as things stand, Alfa Romeo will take a massive lead in the, in the constructors, so every position that Carney makes up and I would say if a Quasar could make them up, but he is seven seconds off Basel. Um, yeah, Qua Quasar's, um, I think a Quasar from very early on went into, I'm just going to finish this race mode. Yeah, basically. Um, just so it's, you, Obviously, you get, you get no points for finishing in the wall uh, with um, no tyres on your car. Carney and Tintoretto have halved the gap to Alex. Yeah. Oh, and, and then proof of your pace. There is proof of pace if you ever needed it. Um, he is actually massively, really closing in on Total Carney. He is. Um, so Carney obviously needs to get past Alex and Tim Tin Toretto, although he has that uh, those penalties, probably looking to try and obviously uh, get past Carney. Uh, with pace like that, um, let's have a look at the times. Well... Uh, Tim Toretto was at least 1.4 seconds quicker than Total Carney on the last lap because obviously he did a 35.8 and Carney's fastest lap throughout the race is a 37.2 so if he's just done that on his most recent lap then uh, Tim Toretto has some serious pace in that car as I think uh, you're going to Dylan again same place as last time same place those hard tyres are probably about hotter than the surface of the sun and he is quite literally about to be lapped by Troy A so uh, if we see Dylan in the pits in this lap I don't see him oh he's gone nearly gone again yes he has gone again yeah, yeah, here comes Total tires. Carney here comes Up Carney on Alex. Eighth place and Tintoretto having a little look as well. And that is Dylan now lapped. And Tintoretto going down the inside. Very Ooh. hesitant there, actually. That was very hesitant. But he's got the move made anyway. Yep, yeah, the superior traction on those uh, medium tyres. So uh, the two medium runners now up to eighth and ninth. So, uh, and uh, Dylan carried on, guys. Forward. Dylan carried on. He's carried on. I mean, props to him. You know, we do like to see drivers that maybe having bad races continuing on. Yeah, we don't we don't we don't try and promote a pit and quit culture because 
you know, sure he maybe you know <laughs> a lap down, but um... uh, Lima is pushing really hard now. He's almost pushed Sohei round turn one just then. Yeah, and so he's uh, yeah, Westlake like, is flashing at the moment, which means he's uh, running out of that that electrical store. I mean, look at look at Lima. He is so yeah, much quicker. Dylan than flags. That's oh, it's Dylan. It's, it's Dylan being Dylan. Um, yeah, L Lima taking much cleaner lines through sector sector one than than, than Soye. Hey, it's got to be surely a matter of time. Surely it's just got to be a matter of of of. of uh, I can see a move down the end. Not here. if it's got to be surely. I mean, yeah, like the so is out of it. Look, ZMS like's already flashing. We haven't even hit the DMS zone yet. So this should, if this word should, be a fairly easy overtake for McLaren. He's in the slipstream, trying to use that ERS fairly tactically. He's going to go for the lunge. Is he? No, the way it covers him off. Well, the outside, surely not. Surely not. Surely not. Oh my gosh, he's still there. He's going to take the lunge into the next corner. He is. So he sees him just this about. Is Dylan is. Oh, it's not it's... Dylan. It's Coop cutting grass at this point, but. Oh, wow, what a move. What a switcheroo. Oh, he's pushing slightly wide. I, I, oh. I, I, I think that's fair. I think Sir Hayes just gone off the track there to avoid that. I think that's fair. I think that's a brilliant move and definitely, definitely fair. That's a fair move, in my opinion. Wow, that was something in the heart. That's fair. Yeah, that, that switch was brilliant. That, that's fair. And now look, he's back. King David's now back in the uh, throng with Basil along in company as well. Uh, yeah, I, I, think that's, I think that's fair. Yeah, I mean, it, um, Lima was was ahead. He was well clear. It was his corner. You know, so I would stay at that part, stay stay alongside him at his own risk. Uh, just want to point out, Carney is now within the range of Mitri, uh, so he is flying through the order. He could even get his teammate here if uh, if Carney's pace continues like this. Quasar only two and a half seconds to Mitri. King David, jeez. King David almost just <laughs> basically puts. Sohab through. Sohab is tyres. I mean, David's are a 14 lap old, so they're three laps older than Sohab, but Sohab seems to be really, really struggling here. Um, I'm just assuming it's that. Um, I'm just assuming it's, it's the tyre pressures. I'm assuming he's just he's whacked them up. Yeah, it's got to be, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that slide from from Sohai there. Uh, thinking he is a Tokyo drifter, I can confirm he is not. That is definitely the wrong series uh, to be trying that in. Uh, he's gaining, 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 gaining. Is he going to make a lunge? Surely not. Not from that distance. So high defense. He has, he oh, has. he goes for it. No. Ah! Uh, would that that, that mm, that's that's he question. I, yeah, I would. I would have. Um, yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, but he's still under. He's, he's learned from Lima, but I think so high's learned yeah, from so Lima has, too. Yeah. I, oh, I, he's going to do the switch move. The cut through. No. No. no, no so Hames, so Hames kept the position, and I think rightfully so. He's kept the position. That was a audacious lunge there from from david and um it was ambitious it to was be, to be fair i think it should have been a you know it's, it's the right outcome david still behind is is the right outcome uh, you might want to have a little look in chat um on the stream as well yeah, who's who though that's the question sorry who's who like, uh, who is we don't know who who's they are but uh, have you seen the comments yeah, no, but uh, am I crafty? Are you crafty? Oh, I don't know. Who is... I'm not sure. I mean, I, I, I think I think you're incredibly uh, informative. I think you should be crafty. Really? Oh, that, oh Dylan's pissed. Yeah. Oh, that's not a pit and quit. That is not a pit and quit from Dylan. That's a safety that's car. That's a safety car. Oh, yes. Oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone in between. We have a safety car, and that is going to be exciting. Um... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, boys and girls, and everyone in between. <laughs> well, we're inclusive here, you know. Uh, we like I was about to say, we've, we've covered every possible aspect there. That's brilliant. <laughs> I always say that. <laughs> I always try like, to be inclusive as possible. <laughs> and Cruz just come in saying, Does this make me Ted Kravitz then? <laughs> sure, we can put crew in. Uh, I can imagine that everyone will pit for softs. Uh, yeah, this, it's, does it's, slightly... this, is, this is exactly what I said, though. Yeah, it is. Uh, Five it has laps slightly... from the end. And it's David's yep. strategy gone to perfection, apart from that time penalty. Yeah, that is not going to... And I feel bad for Carney and Tintoretto, because that is really... Put the kibosh and then charge on the medium tyres, because yeah. everyone's probably going to pit softs. Troy A's in, understandably so. No point risking it. I assume Lima's going to come in, because he's probably not going to get past Troy A, because obviously they'll still be under Delta. Um, King David's probably going, yes, I can get off these hard tyres. Thank God for that. No, he's probably terrified, because if he's, if he's overheating his hard tyres... His softs are not going to be much better. They so, ooh, uh, fire into the pit lane. Ooh, Basil could be held here because Liam has obviously just entered the pit lane. Basil could get held in the double stack here. 
Um, I mean, so, there should yeah. be enough time here, surely. Oh, Carly's being brave. <laughs> or stupid. We'll find out shortly. Yeah, that, that's, um, that's a great double stack there. That is a great double stack from, from oh, McLaren. Oh, Tintoretto. Ooh. Has Carly continued on? Yeah. I tell Carly's you what, though. I tell you what. For, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think this is. I think that's an error. I think he should have boxed. I mean, what? This, we still have people. Wait, where? Is, oh no, Dylan crashed. I was about to say Dylan was he's a lap down. So the Fry of Coop is still, still yet to enter the last. Just entered the third sector. Um, so he's got a long way to go to catch up to the safety car. So this could be. This will be a long safety car. This will do the full three laps. I think the safety car it's can do. It's potentially three game. laps, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, which would put us, it came out lap 23, so that we could have literally a two-lap spin. Um, yeah, which means no DRS, which obviously kind of saves Carney a little bit. It definitely it saves the drivers that have underfueled. Yeah, <laughs> they're all very happy now. Um, uh, yes, this, this is the PlayStation tier, so we've got um, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, Monday to Thursdays. Um, then we've got the Academy on a Thursday as well. We've also got Xbox and PC, but yes, this, this is... Uh, this the main attraction. The, uh, the, the <laughs> yeah. yeah, the main attraction. Um, but yeah, so this will be a long safety car. So that probably doesn't really help Carly because obviously those mediums will cool down and they'll take a little longer than the softs to warm up. I can imagine the softs will be pretty much warm by the end of the, the first sector. Um, so what, we need, we need to be green at the end of the lap 25 to get DRS on the, lap, on the last lap, wouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, correct. And I, I... 26, yeah, we'd have to have, yes, we'd have to, at the end of the next lap, and oh, I don't know. Coop still not always. Oh, Mitri's and Tintoretto are swapping places. Uh, not sure how that's because it's yeah, it sort it, it sorted itself back out now. Hopefully, uh, we know this game can be a bit fickle with that. I mean, there's a chance really that we could because Troy still coming up to the last corner, the, the last corner, and Coop still about to enter the third. Oh, what the? Where, where's a quasar now? What? Why is? Oh, he's pitted. What? Oh, must have front wing damage. Tintoretto's pitted. Yeah, what's the front wing damage? I got very confused as why he suddenly shut up, shut up. He's just serving his five seconds? I mean, that's... Maybe for... I'm trying to see, it doesn't look like there's any front wing damage. Doesn't look like any major front wing damage, so... I mean... Just guess... I, I, I don't know. Hopefully he'll tell us why he's done that, because I am at a loss of trying to work out how that works. Um, so. uh, 10 p.m. UK time, Monday to Thursday for the tiers, uh, and then the academy is eight o'clock. You will need to do an academy race um, before you get put into a tier. Um, but yeah, I mean, to be to be fair, I've been here probably three and a half, almost four months um, as a commentator now. Um, well, I've done the entire season here, so what's that? Three months minimum. Yeah, I think it was um, in July. So plus, plus two or three evaluation races prior to that. Um, so yeah, so it's about it's about four months I've been here now, and I, I really enjoy it here from a commentator's point of view. Um, so yeah, I mean it's definitely it's definitely a league that I would uh, strongly promote. Let's be honest. Yeah, it is a good uh, it is a good league. Um, there is quite an extensive entry process, I know that turns off some people, but it's just basically... Yeah, it's the form and things. Obviously, I didn't have to go through that, not... so, um, yeah, it doesn't work. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm I, still trying uh, to... I realise that. Yeah. I realise that cap's obvious. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> right, let's get, let's get the invite. Um, copy well, uh, well, Zippo uh, hopefully gets uh, a new member into the Discord so we can have there some we more go. amazing drivers in this. Safety car's coming in, so we all get DRS on the last lap. That's which means crazy. Carly's probably, which means Carly's probably sitting there going, oh dear. Why didn't I box? Yes, he's probably thinking, oh dear, but instead of the word dear, probably civil, very un-PG words. Uh, because, yeah, it's now going to be a three-lap spin and we have DRS on the last lap. So we yeah, have absolutely. a chance that this could all like, Unfold. go crazy. Yeah, so yeah go don't, crazy. Don't, don't be put off by the uh, registration form. That's all I'll say. As uh, Troy has so, oh, yeah, he has gone. Green and Carney, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carney, Carney <laughs> had an awful final corner. Yep. And that's Absolutely amazing. awful final corner. And uh, I tell you what, he's going to get gobbled up now. King David cuts turn one there. 
He completely cut turn one. Oh, he did. Probably using up that extra warning to try and, uh, you know, get an advantage. But yeah, I mean, look at look at Cardi. He's already a set. Uh, look, sorry, Soy's already a second off. The Soy's not even getting his ties up to temperature yet. Yeah, um, I mean, the mediums do seem to have fired up. I think. Oh, oh, we say that. I will <laughs> take that back. <laughs> As there goes King David, and um, <clears throat> ignore exactly everything that I just spoke about the medium tyres, they are done. Um, so the Zippo commentary curse is still alive and kicking. <laughs> yeah, the curse of Zippo strikes again, guys. It's still a uh, very much trending thing on TikTok. Um, <laughs> you are help Basil going for his moves here as well, looking to go for a move on Carney. Uh, Mitwi and Equaza changing positions. Mitwi up into seventh place, and I tell you what. It's all changed. Ooh. It's all changed now because Tintoretto's had a moment with, with Drunk Pirate. Uh, Carney yep. and Basil changed positions. Equaza was behind Carney. Carney's staying out. And it's, it's not done Alpine any favours. It has not. This is uh, gone from bad to worse at Alpine. Any hope of keeping the constructors alive. I mean, it will still be alive. Alpha Male will not be constructors tonight. But as always, oh, had a much better one than Mitch. Surely not. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> Could have said to be a bit suicidal from the Alpine, from the Alpine driver. Oh, um, that is some oh. nasty wheel spin on the exit there. So on lap 27 of 28, as we cross the line the next time round, we will see that DRS being enabled here for that final lap. And um, let's be honest, there's only a couple of drivers that are actually going to benefit from it. Troy 8 already 1.4 clear of Lima uh, in second place. Basil not really gaining any time on King David. King David not really gaining time on Sohabe now, as Sohabe's tyres are starting to come back to him a little bit. Uh, but Equaza, Mitwi, Alex, Chappers, Bevo and, and Coop are all going to have that DRS and they're gonna, it's just going to be one big train to see who, he who dares wins as they say. Um, to see where they're going to go for that lunge down the inside with the DRS. But yeah, Troy 8 very much looking dominant this evening. Yeah, um, obviously we... I mean, there, there probably won't be any appeals against Troy 8 because he has literally not been seen apart from the safety car period. Uh, as Bevo does dive up in the cellar Chappers. Uh, so to take the last... Well, would be points playing position. Obviously they are both reserves, so they will not be... Well, tier 2 reserves, so they will not be getting any points. But I think we can probably fairly safely say obviously we will, we will await confirmation from the admins uh, and the stewards. Well, they safely say that, that, that Troy A is starting the last lap here, and he has one lap between him and the Tier 1 Championship this season. He does, yeah, uh, unless anything happens on this final lap. Um, it's a uh, pretty solid, solid race from him this evening, and that is that DRS being enabled. So we're going to see it uh, one time here, and that is going to be down the back straight. Um, we got, we're going to see it out of the final corner, but it's almost pointless. Um, so let's call it just once that we're going to see it. Alex, Equaza, Mitwi. Um, Bevo, Chappers, all gonna uh, all gonna gain from this uh, DRS, and I tell you what, Sohave as well is too far back, so he's not gonna he's not gonna get it even get it now. He's had an awful first sector, but King David, could we see King David on the podium? No, probably because not. of that penalty. <laughs> probably not. No, I was, I was watching that six seconds, so he's gonna tumble. Um, Wait, possibly into the low reach of the top ten. I tell you um, what, the driver that's in trouble here is Carney. Uh, yeah, Carney is going to be very vulnerable here. Um, he's dumping his DRS battery, as is Mitri. DRS is enabled. Let's see, uh, Mitri's going to make the move on the Alpine driver. Which way does he go? Ah, yeah, Carney just basically yeah, goes. Yeah, he's just opened the door like for him. Unfortunately, oh, he's he's pushed wide there. Oh. He's, he's, he's actually pushed off track there. Yeah, as Alex thought about having a little look up the uh, inside outside uh, as yep here comes Alex Carney's gonna start tumbling um, is he gonna yep Carney breaks later does he get the move done yes he does no he doesn't yes he does yellow, yellow flags. flags but is we're not gonna worry about yellow flags we're gonna go on board with Troye who is already weaving he knows he's done enough he knows he's won this championship and he's about to cross the line for one final time here in America and should take championship as well as Lima in second place and Sohabe there in third did hold on in fact and King David down to 11th place now he ran out of fuel on the line <laughs> I <laughs> watched him he ran out of fuel in fourth Mitwi fifth Alex sixth Total Carney in seventh place Equator eighth Bevro ninth Chappers tenth and David all the way down into P11 
obviously we are going to see some of these drivers and these positions changing um, but uh, yeah x -Coupe in uh, 12th ba uh, Pirate in 13th and Tintoretto crossing the line to finish off your grid yeah um, obviously we will get it confirmed it'll probably be confirmed either tomorrow night at 10 o'clock tier 2 or Wednesday night but I mean we can fairly safely say that there'll be no appeals against Troye uh, there might be some against um, the Quasar possibly I don't don't think there's really any instant involving a Quasar that would be appeal worthy so I think we can say with a certain level of certainty that we have a tier 1 champion for the uh, for, for this season the first season of F22 and he's saying is Troy a, the Alpha Male driver? I'm 95% sure will have clinched the title. Uh, so congratulations to him. Uh, obviously, we will wait for the formalities for him to be officially announced. But uh, massive well done to the Alpha Male driver uh, on his yeah, championship this definitely. season. Most definitely, I think a well-deserved champion as well. To be fair, um, if you guys did miss it at the start, obviously we were we were talking about Troy a and just you know how he rarely, rarely puts <coughs> puts a foot wrong. You know, so yeah, he's he's done really well. Um, Troy, as you can see there, winning the championship, winning the race this season as well, pending any appeals, obviously. Lima in second place, and Sohabe does wrap up the uh, the podium. Basil in fourth place with Mitwi in fifth place. Alex in sixth. Carney in seventh. Equaza in eighth. Now, what that does mean, obviously, is Alpine have taken a, a, a loss tonight uh, in the constructors, but they will go back again next week trying to uh you know put put right the wrongs from this evening with uh bevo in ninth and chappers running up your point your points there king david dropping down to 11th with coop in 12th place pirate and tin toretto rounding up the rest of your grid and then we did lose dylan optic farsa from the race this evening so overall it's been a pretty decent race let's, let's be honest um that one safety car right at the end kind of spiced it up a bit it did um, it really did. Yeah, it, um, it made it the exciting. final few laps. Some, yeah, it made the final few laps something. But let's not write off the rest of the race though. Those two DRS trains. There was plenty of action in the midfield. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't so much action for for the uh, for the, the lead and the victory. Obviously, because you know that was quite frankly, um, let's be honest, that was Troyer's race from from lights out, wasn't it? But, um, but yeah, it was a very very good race in my opinion was um uh and i also think i'm gonna have to watch back to the stream but i'm finished certain try i think also got the grand slam of fastest lap uh well proposition uh fly uh fastest lap and every lap led um because i'm pretty sure when he pitted he came back out in the lead anyway <laughs> he did uh, um, he didn't he didn't he let he led every lap yeah 100 percent. yeah so he got, um, the, he got he got the grand slam tonight so that's so, that yeah, just that, tells what, you thing what a way to round off champion. his his championship yeah fantastic yeah but um, but on that note, guys, don't forget Tier 2 live tomorrow night from 10 o'clock here. Uh, and that's going to be with Feldman and Artistic. Wednesday night for Tier 3 is Solid Elite and Artistic. Thursday night uh, from 8 o'clock Academy with myself. And then Thursday night from 10 o'clock is Tier 4 with myself and Chappers. You can also catch Chappers and Luke racing in Tier 2 tomorrow evening. And if you, if you fancy following that, then... Do tune in from around about 10 o'clock tomorrow night UK time. However, tonight is wrapped up. We've got a champion pending investigation, so congratulations to Troy once again. But I uh, hope you guys at home did enjoy the race and enjoyed the commentary. We sure enjoyed the commentary, and I definitely enjoyed the race. And uh, But for now, guys, I've been Zippo. Uh, and I've been Luke. And uh, good night. Yeah, good night, guys. Catch you in the next one. <laughs>